Fire is my only love. Shut up! Cartoons! So Borderlands, the game that came out a while ago, Borderlands is coming out with a movie. And I saw on my home video page and the recommended people trashing reviews about the Borderlands. They're saying this movie's gonna suck. It's supposed to release August 9th. People, the critics are already trashing it. If you go to Rotten Tomatoes, look at this, 3%. It was 0% before, one review made it to 3%. But out, look here, three, here you go. Top, top 12 critics gave it zero friggin' percent. That's actually pretty rare because most shills, most of these uh, critics, they shill for the goddamn movie to make it sound better than it actually is. In this case, these top 12 critics are giving it a 0% and all critics, only one person gave it a friggin' like a good score and now it's at 3%, right? So then we go down, okay, you got your reviews. We'll go down in a second. So first thing I did was I never played Borderlands. So let's look at some gameplay footage and see what this game's about. Okay, cell shaded, cell shaded first person shooter. You can drive around in that little buggy, a little dune buggy. All right, that's enough. Pretty much plays like Halo. But instead of polygonal graphics, we got cell shaded graphics. It reminds you of Halo, pretty much. Okay. So now what we're going to do is now this little woke freaking trailer. We're going to watch this official trailer. Remember, in trailers, they trick you into thinking that the movie is going to be so great. Because that's what a trailer does. It tricks you. Same thing with video game trailers. Video game trailers are doing what movie trailers do now, where they trick you into thinking the game is good. So this movie trailer is going to trick you to believing, wow, this is going to be the great movie. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to reverse that. Ain't no way I'm getting copyright strike. I'm putting that there. So we got this. I'm not full screening it. So let's watch this and review it play by play. Hunter. You've come in search like of already secret. here, you can see, like you got your DEI, you got your little kid, you got your DEI, you got this. I hate movies where their whole selling point is we got the best celebrities from all across the world into one movie. Usually, those kind of movies suck. Secret Lost Vault of Pandora. You ready to kick some ass? Okay, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. That was so late. You ready to kick some behind? Okay, let's go. And she's like, hey, 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 wait up, wait up, child. I know you're freaking interested in fighting and blah, blah, blah. let's wait up. It's just the most generic crap that we've seen for ages and ages. Catch. If the legends were true, I'm the only one who can open the vault. It's just like every action scene just poured into a freaking small one minute, 30 second video. Every, basically, if you want to watch the movie, just watch the trailer. You got your whole freaking uh, plot right here in the trailer. You know what's going to happen. You know your stupid little freaking slapstick, slap comedy, crap, generic garbage. What are you doing? Feel free to applaud. <laughs> Feel free to applaud. Like this is, the <laughs> it's like, I hate movies. I hate movies where you can predict what's going to happen. That's what I, that's the same thing with sitcoms, right? So let me give you an example with a sitcom. My, one of my favorite sitcoms I ever watched in my life was Seinfeld. Why? Because it's unpredictable. You cannot predict the jokes. You cannot predict what's going to happen. But when I, when I used to watch Friends, Right? When I watch some of Friends, I could predict it. I could predict what the joke's gonna be. I can predict what that guy's gonna say and what the what they're gonna laugh at, right? So I don't like predictable stuff because it's not fun. I like unpredictable. Seinfeld was unpredictable, made me laugh. It still makes me laugh to this day. This movie is predictable. The guy's like, applaud. Oh, I did something good, applaud, and everyone's applauding. Uh -huh. it's like they're it's like a movie made for freaking 10-year-olds. Oh yeah, you, you, of course you got your you got your stupid little friggin' uh your robot, right? Your dumb little robot running around. Oh, it's oblivious to everything. It's trying its hardest, just like friggin' uh R R R D T two. I can't even remember his name. 
R R two D two, right? <laughs> From Star Wars. Whatever. It's like you got your basic freaking robot oblivious. Oh, I'm just a cute little robot trying my hardest. And I bet you, I bet you this movie is going to kind of end. There's going to be a scene where this, like, no one can solve anything, but the robot does something by mistake and accidentally solves the freaking mystery. There's going to be some kind of scene like that. Nobody kills me but me! Yeah, you got you got your CGI, you got your CGI drive mechanics, everything's freaking fake. It's all CGI, okay, first of all. None of this is even real what you're seeing on the screen. It's all graphics and done by freaking AI and scripting and CG. You got that. Put the window up. I don't want to! Put the window up, I don't want to, yeah, and then the thing sprays it with like, it's like, oh, see, I told you. Oh, I'm Kevin Hart, shut up. It's pink. It's in my mouth! By the way, Kevin Hart's a sellout, by the way. He probably sold it to soul, that prick. You get a bullet, you get a bullet. And, and here, I'll always, always at the cinematic, just to get you like, uh, uh, you know, wheeled in. They always have to have the name of everything. Okay, so you know, first, first name. Oh my God, Kate Blanchett. Oh my God. Oh my God. This movie should be good. Kevin Hart. Oh my God. Yeah, the the funny comedian. Yeah, it's always you know it's gonna be funny because of that. Jack Black, oh yeah, that guy, the, 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 the other funny guy as the freaking robot, ha ha ha. Florian Montano, who the hell is Florian Montano? Ariana Greenwood, who the hell is this? The kid, Jamie Lee Curtis, I've heard that name a million times and I don't care, okay? I don't care about some old legend in your goddamn video. They always have to have a legend one, you always have to have someone like an old head there. You have to have your funny guy, you have to have your child, you have to have your strong guy, and then you have to have this in this on a robot and this, it's just generic. Take this movie, take out all the actors and freaking put it in a different game, a different game series, it's the same goddamn thing. Oh, you got that guy. You got the guy from uh, Mad TV. I can't remember his uh, name. How are we gonna get through this? <laughs> it's just trash. Tickets on sale now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, what's gonna happen for this stupid little friggin' thing? People are gonna watch this out of the curiosity to see how bad the movie is. Do not, under any circumstance, buy a ticket and give this mo give this movie money. You cannot do that. All right, don't do it. Do not buy this out of curiosity to see how bad it is. Just forget it. Don't give them any money, and so they see the friggin' bad box office sales, so they never make a garbage movie like this again. So then, I basically want to be like, okay, Borderlands. I looked up the Borderlands series here. You can see on screen. Let me reverse it again. Let's get this going here. Look what it says here. Because I was wondering. I'm like, okay, this is a Borderlands movie. Okay, big whoop. And then you see right here, it says release timeline. Borderlands released in 2009. Borderlands 2 released in 2012. And then Borderlands 3 released in 2019. So it's been like five years since an official Borderlands release and now they release a movie. I, I don't understand the concept behind this. Why are you guys releasing a Borderlands movie now when the last Borderlands that was released was in 2019, five years ago? So that one just confused me. Now let's go back to this, the reviews, right? Let's go to read more. Let's read the reviews for this stupid video. David Fear. It's not, it's not a movie for critics, as the saying goes, nor is it suitable for, let me minimize this. <clears throat> let me take this out, hold up. All right, here we go. Let's read these friggin' reviews right here by these people. It's not a movie for critics, as the saying goes, nor is it suitable for consumption by most gamers, film lovers, or 99% of carbon-based life forms. The biggest problem with Eli Ross Borderlands is that it isn't, it's that, is it that it's bad? Is that it's not interesting enough to be bad? It's mass-produced pabulum. Borderlands is a catastrophic disappointment that plays like hacked to pieces studio slop, betraying everything fans adore about Gearbox Software's franchise in derivative, regrettable fashion. 
so drearily routine and splat slapdash that even the AI would deem it too plagiaristic. Yeah, it seems like they got the friggin' script from an AI bot. What we get with the film is a noisy, insufferable, and embarrassing video game adaption that can be seen as yet another example of studio-driven cash grabs treating their audience like dumb cardboard pieces. Yes, a lot of... Borderlands isn't the only one to do this. There's a lot of friggin' movies that do this. Cash grabs, get all your friggin' legendary actors in it. You got your one ca comedian, you got your one strong guy, your one child. Put them all together and people will automatically think that this is going to be a good movie. I bet you, you know how mostly, you know how mostly uh, these celebrities, they have to audition for roles in, 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 in movies and compete with each other. Mo movies like this, they don't audition. They forced, these there's people are forced to do videos like this. They're like, you know, you have to do this. Uh, but you, you really think Jamie Lee Curtis wants to sit there uh, uh, in her friggin' like, uh, uh, with, with her freaking medication and sit there through a Borderlands video shoot? No, okay? She was probably forced. These celebrities, there's probably some things in their contract where like, okay, you have to do this movie and they're all forced to get together and make this garbage. Borderlands feels like glorified cosplay where capable performers like Blanchett and Curtis, see, that's what it's about. Oh, capable. Oh my God, they're capable and they're so popular. Merely take position and feign emotion to get a nice group picture. Borderlands is what an out of touch executive thinks the cool kids would find appealing one obnoxious quip after another that feel outdated and look here's the one person that gave it a good review i've never played the games but i got a kick out of blanchett starring in a movie like this and doing a great job <laughs> It's such a shill. She is Grace Randolph. You're such a shill. I do wish the script had been adjusted a bit better to accommodate her age. Blanchett fans will enjoy this. Not sure about anyone. Else. Are you serious? And then I clicked on full review. I clicked on this full review, and it goes to her YouTube video. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're shilling the only good review, and he had her YouTube freaking view. Oh, look, look, look at her face. Duh, oh, this is good. Duh, I never played the games or know nothing about video games, but I sure, I sure uh, uh, loved her performance. Duh, shut up, all right? You make me friggin' sick, all right? All you guys in your stupid little friggin' business suits and your dumb little friggin' celebrity crap, shut up. This movie sucks. Don't watch it. Don't pay them any money. The friggin' last game was released five years ago, and for some reason, they thought it was a good idea to release this video five years later when no one cares about Borderlands. Pathetic.